Hey, look, check this out. Um, I just didn't really feel like turning on the lights. It ain't nothing like that. I just don't feel like turning this shit on. But um, look, so I'm going to give you my quick rundown. I'm going to try to keep it under like a minute or two so I can get to the video. But this is what I think. Now, there's two parts of this video. Now, the original tweet where he was writing, um, you know, I'm glad my enemies are a blessing or whatever, is because he was supposed to be meeting up with uh one of the big, one of the OGs from, uh, I think from Paru, and he told him that, he wanted to all the OG homies to link up so they can have a, you know, have a talk and get to a common understanding. And then, you know, he was supposed to meet with the police chief two days after he died. So that's what that tweet was about. And he wasn't going to post a picture until Monday after when he had the meeting with everybody. So, you know, that's what the tweet was about. And um, the thing about it, a lot of people saying like, um, you know, I mean, some people saying, you know, it's kind of questionable about what his homeboy was saying and why wasn't he crying all that. Number one, he was crying. It was two videos. Number two is street politics. You don't talk about everything. But number three, I believe, like, it, it, it's a lot going on. You know, I don't believe, I kind of believe him. I kind of believe, you know, I believe it was more words, say, but that's, you know, that's between the hoods. Like, you know, his, his buddy was shitty cuz, as cuz. Like, he was known for being a snitch. So, you know, they, I'm pretty sure they talked to him a way that they don't want to say everything, but they said some shit to him. Like, you know, we can't fuck with you. But he came back with some other shit. But it's more shit. But as we, you know, get everything on detail and we find out more, you know, I'm going to definitely drop more and shit. You already know how I do. I don't play with it. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Stay tuned, baby. On behalf of your client, Jue Formal, reading of this complaint statement of rights, yeah. Mr. Enter a not guilty plea on his behalf? Yes, and denying me your office of probation time. That will be entered. And uh, what is your request, sir? Uh, May 10th, Friday. For an additional plea, uh, yeah. right, Mr. Holder, I need to advise you, sir, you have a right to have a speedy preliminary hearing on the charges against you. Ten court days or 60 calendar days from today, the date of your arraignment. Do you understand you have that right, sir? Yeah. Do you waive and give up that right? We're asking if that be a 030. Right? That's fine, that would be a 030 date. Do you waive and give up that right, Mr. Holder? Yeah. Council join? Yes. Then I will ask request to calendar the matter back in this courtroom on May 10th. You won't have a hearing on that day, but you'll have a right to have it within 30 calendar days of that day. Bail currently is set at $5 million. Did you wish to be heard as to bail today, Mr. Darden? No, no, no. All right, that will stand without prejudice. Is there anything else on behalf of your client today? No, no, no. Anything else for the people, Mr. McKinney? No. All right, thank you then. Those are the orders. Thank you.